Hi students, welcome back to myclass.com. Here we are starting a new playlist for data mining classes. So this is the first video on the topic data mining. So let's start. Actually what is data mining? Data mining is the process of sorting through large data sets to identify patterns and relationships that can help solve business problems through data analysis. Data mining means it is the way of doing some analysis to our large data sets. What we are getting after mining, we are identifying patterns and relationships. So inside any data set, we can identify patterns, relationship that is something is affecting our business or something is promoting our sales like that. We can identify some patterns and relationship inside our big data set. So that process we are called it as data mining. So before data mining, the data warehouse concept should be very clear. So what is data warehouse a data warehouse is a centralized repository for sorting and managing large amounts of data from various sources for analysis and reporting. For data analysis or for doing data mining, we want lots of data, maybe from different sources with a different format it is maybe from different years or we also want the data set from the previous year so for that we want to store lots of data for data mining maybe it is the previous data or current data so lots of data log files any other data from other resources all are we want to storing and managing for data mining such centralized repositories we are called data warehouse okay so data warehouses it's just like a database but not a traditional database data warehouse has different major characteristics mainly four characteristics are the first one is subject oriented the data warehouses means we are storing and managing large data which type of data we are storing it should be a subject oriented data information about a theme the theme can be sales distributions and marketing etc sometimes we are storing all the sales data of an online business venture like amazon or flipkart so it should be subject oriented the second characteristic is integrated integration means founding a shared entity to scale all the similar data from the different database we are getting different data from the different sources and and it has different formats also so we want to integrate it first so the second characteristic is integrated third one is time variant the data resided in the data warehouse is predictable with a specific interval of time and delivers information from the historical perspectives we are maintaining or storing the data with respect to the time so we are storing the sales of the previous month we are storing all the sales related data of month january february march like that it does depend on the time so it should be time variant that is the third characteristics the fourth characteristic is non-volatile non-volatile means we are storing the data in the time based manner if we are storing a details of previous month we are not erasing that data and we are replacing with the new months not like that it should be non-volatile we want we have to maintain the historical data so it should be non-volatile it is we are storing in permanent okay data is not updated once it is stored in the data warehouse it is like it is the it is there it is handling historical data okay so in the purpose of a college management system we are storing all the student details with respect to academic year okay we are not erasing the student details when a new academic year arrives is it so like that it is non-volatile that is the four main characteristics of data warehouse subject oriented integrated time variant and non-volatile next we are going to functions of data warehouse why we are maintaining data warehouse that is the functions so so many functions are there 
data consolidation, data cleaning, data integration, data storage, data transformation, data analysis, data reporting, data mining and performance optimization. We are just going through the overview of this functions. Later videos we are discussing each functions in detail. So what is data consolidation? The process of combining multiple data sources into a single data repository in a data warehouse. We are consolidating different data from different resources. Okay. So this ensures a consistent and accurate view of data. That is data consolidation. What is data cleaning? The process of identifying and removing errors inconsistencies and irrelevant data from the data sources before they are integrated into data warehouse. We want to store all the data or we want to store and managing different data from different sources. We want to identify first if there is an error or inconsistencies or irrelevant data, something noise is there in the data. We have to identify it first and we want to remove. So for data clearing loads of methods are there we are discussing later. So that is actually data cleaning. So it helps the data as accurate and trustworthy. Before doing a data analysis or data mining data should be with a high quality. So for increasing the quality of data the data cleaning is a very important step or very important function of data warehouse. Next is data integration. Data integration is just like a data consolidation also. The process of combining data from multiple sources into a single unified data repository in a data warehouse. We are integrating all the data from different sources into a single repository. That function is we are called data integration. So for data integration we are transforming into a consistent format. We are resolving the errors, conflicts, irrelevant data, missing data like that. All the functions are doing in the data integration process also. Okay. So what is data storage? So another function is data storage. We are collecting all the data from the data sources for what we are storing in a single repository. So the main function is data storage. A data warehouse can store large amounts of historical data and make it easily accessible for analysis. So if we are maintaining a data warehouse for data mining, all data are there in the one place. So that is very easy for data analysts to access the data. That is the data storage. Next is data transformation. Data can be transformed and cleaned to remove inconsistencies, duplicate data or irrelevant information. So for before data analysis or data mining, we have to change all the data format into a convenient same format. So that is we are called data transformation. Okay. Next one is data analysis. Data can be analyzed and visualized in various ways to gain insights and make informed decisions. So data analysis means it is we are checking that all data and we are analyzing and we are making some decisions or we are concluding or we are getting some result from that data. Okay. So, so after data analysis we have to report that result. So data reporting is also the function of data warehouse. Next is data mining. Data can be mined for patterns and trend to support decision making and strategic planning. Last function is performance optimization. Data warehouse systems are optimized for fast querying and analysis providing quick access to data. If we are storing all the data in a data warehouse style, it is we can easily optimize the performance. Okay, so that is all about the functions of data warehouse.